My name is Michael A. Allen. I currently serve here at the Charles Pinckney National Historic Site as the Community Partnership Specialist. In addition, I serve as the Community Partnership Specialist for the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor, the only national heritage area in America that deals with African and African American history in the context of United States history. I'm in my 33rd year with the National Park Service and the majority of my time with the National Park Service has been dealing with history and culture and language and more specifically how do we infuse, how do we engage, and how do we involve um, African Americans and specifically the Gullah language, the Geechee language into the everyday conversation of American history. I grew up in a small town uh, here in South Carolina where Africanisms were all around me. Um, when I went into the kitchen with my grandmother, I saw rice dishes that were produced and, and cooked, which I love and still love today. Um, when I went to church with my grandmother or my mother, I saw uh, different shouts, claps that were African-centered and bass. Uh, when I went with my grandmother to funerals, I saw an, an African tradition that I didn't know it was one until I became an adult, where the youngest member of the person that had died or deceased would be passed over his coffin, over his gravesite, before that deceased person was lowered into the ground. And I learned later that was to make sure no evil spirits would attack him. And so here I am now in my 33rd year with the National Park Service, being fortunate enough to be married to a Gullah gal uh, from Jim, Jim Island, and, and being able to be a part of a, an effort to protect, to preserve, and to sustain this important way of life. For me, Gullah is it's not only a way of life, not only a culture, not only a food way, not only clothing, not only custom, but it's also a language. And so it allowed me to, to, to talk about the things I heard as a child, the things I did with my wife today, the things I heard from her father-in-law, my father-in-law, who was more Gullah than, than, than she was in terms of gal, in terms of um, um, come sit ya, and, and, and honor, and huna, all the words that he, he would share with me that at first I didn't really know what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. But you know, I got to appreciate him as a man because I knew he possessed an African skill, an African knowledge that's unique to our American fabric today. And so what I want folks to know about this language and about this way of life, that it was a building block for America. Because you see, when, when you drive today, as you all did along the Ashapu, the, Kung, um, the Cumbahee, the Savannah, the Ogeechee River, the St. Mary's River, the St. John's River, the Cape Fear River, the Santee River, the Cooper River, the Wanda River, those rivers became the life of Gullah culture. Those rivers became the incubator for the rice dishes that I enjoy today. Those rivers be 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 became, the, the, I guess, the birth canal for the language that's a part of us today. But those rivers also transformed the landscape of South Carolina, with the, which allowed this area of the state or the colony to become one of the richest communities in the whole new world. But without Gullah culture, where would all this have taken place? And so I'm very proud to say I'm Gullah, I'm Geechee. I'm, I'm proud to say that they are proud descendants from this culture. I can get in my car today and drive 50 miles up to Georgetown, a neighboring community, turn down a long dirt road into a plantation by the name of Friendfield and stop at a small wooden slave cabin. And just imagine a man by the name of Jim Robinson, an enslaved man in this cabin. I can step away from that cabin, step away from that plantation, and go to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue today and see his great-granddaughter, Michelle Obama, as she lives in there as the first lady of our country. That's the power of Gullah Geechee history and culture. I can drive down to Pinpoint, Georgia, a small community just south of Savannah, Georgia, and, and, and hear um, of a young man by the name of Clarence, not knowing Clarence, but you all know Clarence because Clarence Thomas, the Associate Justice for, on the United States Supreme Court, he's Gullah, he's Geechee, but not outside of Pinpoint, Georgia. 
And so those are just two examples from a national perspective that, that, that we talk about today that's a part of our history and a part of our culture. And I would say that the legacy that we have today let, left by us by the work of Congressman James E. Clyburn is the establishment of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor, which extends an opportunity to protect and to preserve this way of life, but it gives us the opportunity to have a conversation with all the various communities from the St. John River, south of Jacksonville to St. Augustine, all the way up to the Cape Fear River running through the heart of Wilmington, North Carolina. That's the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor. And that's the task that I'm about and we all about to protect, to preserve it, and to sustain it for future generations to know it, to learn it, to understand it, and to appreciate it.